Okay, fight night, Saudi Arabia. We got Whitaker versus Aliskarov. Full card predictions. Starting with the first fight, we got a bantamweight bout between Long Zhao and Cheng Ho Li. So, Long Zhao, he is five foot eight, twenty six years old with a seventy inch reach. And he's 26 and 8. Chang Ho Lee, he's 9 and 1, 30 years old, 5 foot 8 with a 69 inch reach. Now I'm going to take Lee here by a third round knockout. Could be a decision, but I'm just going to go with him by KO. And next fight on the card, um, I haven't picked a couple of these fights yet actually, so I got to do this one now. We got Cedric Dumas versus Dennis Tululin. And we got. Cedric, he is nine and two. He's twenty-eight years old, six foot two with a seventy-nine inch reach. Uh, this is a middleweight belt, by the way. Then we got Dennis Tululin. He is eleven and nine, thirty-six years old, six foot one with a seventy-seven inch reach. I'm gonna pick Dumas here. I'm gonna take him by a knockout in the second round, and we move on to the next fight. Next fight is light heavyweights. We got. I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name, but Magomed G versus Brendan Brenson Ribeiro. I'm just going to call him MG, and MG is 8 0. He's 6 foot 2 with a 75.5 inch reach. And Brendan Brenson Ribeiro, he is 15 and 6, 27 years old, 6 foot 3 with the 81 inch reach. I'm going to take MG here by round 1 KO. And we'll move on to the next fight. We got. Another bantamweight bout. This is Muin uh, Gafarov versus Young Ho Kong. And Muin, he is 18 and 6. He's 28 years old, 5 foot 7 with a 68 inch reach. And Young Ho Kong, he is 19 and 10, 36 years old, 5 foot 9 with a 73 inch reach. I'm going to take Gafarov here by decision. Uh, this should be a close fight. I actually think it could go either way, but I'm picking Gafarov here. Next one, we got a uh, welterweight bout. Renat Fakhradinov versus Nicholas Dalby. And Renat, he's 22-2-1. and one. He's 32 years old, 6 foot with a 74-inch reach. Nicholas Dalby, he's 23-4. and four. He's 39 years old, 5 foot 11 with a 74.5-inch reach. I'm going to take Fakhradinov here by decision. I actually think this is going to be a pretty close fight, but I will. I think Fakhradinov is going to win at least two out of three rounds. We'll move on to the next fight. We got a uh, lightweight bout: Nazrat Hakpras versus Jared Gordon. Uh, Nazrat, he's 16 and five. He's 28 years old, five foot ten with a 72 inch reach. And Jared Gordon, he's 35 years old, five foot nine with a 68 inch reach. We'll take uh, Hakpras here by decision. And I think he gets it done on the feet. And we got the next bout is a middleweight bout. We got Shara Magomedov versus Jailton Luderbach. And uh, Shara, he's 12 and 0. He's six foot two with a 73 inch reach. And Ludenbach, he is 38 and 10, 31 years old, six foot with a 74 inch reach. I'm gonna take Magomedov here by a second round KO. Move on to the next fight. Light heavyweights. We got Johnny Walker versus Vulcan Ozdemir. Walker, he's 21 and 8, 32 years old, 6'6 six six with the 82.5 inch reach. And Vulcan, he's 19 and 7, 6'2 six with the 75 inch reach. I'm going to take Walker here by a round one knockout. If not, I think somebody's getting knocked out in the first round. So if Walker doesn't knock him out, he'll probably get knocked out himself in the first round. We move on to the next fight. We got a featherweight bout, Muhammad Naima versus Felipe Lima. And Muhammad, he's 11 and 2. He's 5 foot 9 with a 70 inch reach. And Felipe Lima, he's 12 and 1, 5 foot 6, with no reach on file. But actually, this fight should be very close. We got 11 and 2 versus 12 and 1. I'm going to pick Naima here by decision. I think it's going to be a a uh, very competitive fight could go either way. I will take Muhammad here. Next one, we got 
Kevin Gaslam back at welterweight versus uh, Daniel Rodriguez. Gaslam, he's 18 and 9, 5'9 9 with a 71.5 inch reach. And Rodriguez, he's 17 and 4, 6'1 with a 74 inch reach. I think I'm going to go with Rodriguez by decision. Looks like he's an underdog on this one, but Gaslam's just too unpredictable. I know uh, Rodriguez has lost two fights in a row, but I think uh, that's going to motivate him to get the win here, and it shouldn't be too difficult for him to beat Gaslam. We'll see, though. Okay, we got the co-main event heavyweight Sergei Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov, two Russians that train together. So Sergei, he's 18-2, and 6'3", with the 84-inch reach, and Volkov, he's 37-10, and 10. He's six foot seven with the 80 inch reach. I'm gonna take Pavlich here by a round one knockout. If not, I could see uh, Volkov winning a decision if Sergey can't finish him. But Sergey's just got too much power. I see him uh, connecting and knocking out uh, Volkov. In the main event, we got Robert Whitaker versus Ikram Aliskarov, middleweight bout, obviously. So Whitaker, he's 25 and seven. He's six foot with a 73.5 inch reach, and Ikram he's 15 and one, six foot with a 76 inch reach. It's the betting line's pretty close. Seems like most people are going with Whitaker here by decision. I'm gonna take uh, Lisker off by round one knockout. If he doesn't knock him out, Whitaker's just too chinny, I think, and uh, Ikram's a really good fighter. So this this is probably a hot take, but I'm going to take Ikram by round one knockout. If not, I think he could knock him out in the second, third, fourth, or fifth round, or just win a decision. But if it goes to decision, I see Whitaker could, pop, could probably win a decision. But, uh, yeah, that's who I'm picking for this fight. So hope you guys have a good one, and uh, like, share, subscribe.